Okay, so uh, for the mustache segment, um, all, all we do is just uh, we take turns asking uh, anybody or everybody uh, just a silly question or serious, whatever you want. Um, so I would like to ask everybody, and the order will go Shantastic, Nick, and then Nick. Which Nick does? <laughs> Nick Bryce, we will but... see. And then Nick. Um, <laughs> okay. So uh, I'm I'm must ask you all a question. Would you rather ride an elephant, a dragon, or an ostrich? Starting with Shan. Um a dragon. Because I'm not sure why. I feel like I would be Easily fallen off of an elephant somehow, and an ostrich would peck at me, and I just have a bad idea. <laughs> Brilliant. So I'm going to go with that. I'm just going to fly out a dragon, because it seems fun. Brilliant. <laughs> Nick. You know, I I was going to say an ostrich, but then Shannon <laughs> proposed some, some good concerns, so I will ride the dragon as well. <laughs> 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 I don't want that thing pecking at me. <laughs> <laughs> as long as it can be cool, you know, and just not really mind that I'm on there and, you know, I'll get along. So. Nice. My animal vehicle of choice would most definitely have to be the ostrophant. <laughs> you have the speed and the mobility of the ostrich. And second, you have the fortitude and the trunk of the elephant. You can't even lose. <laughs> except, <laughs> except when the dragon breathes fire on you and then you're toast, but maybe you could run fast enough away from that. Yeah. We're riding the dragon, not running from him. <laughs> but who knows? You know, We're in duality right now. Who knows? Very nice. I'll make friends with it first. Okay. We'll as dragging. long as you're there with me, then we'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It'll be awesome. I like, I love your mustache. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Shannon, you should you should think about getting hair implants to actually grow one because it looks really good. <laughs> Thanks. What would you ride? An ostrich? No, I definitely ride a dragon. <laughs> I think everybody would. <laughs> yeah, me? Well, because I don't know. I love uh, I love Aragon and and the fact that they connect with their dragons. Uh, on, a deep, on such a deep level, you, I mean, I'm sure you could with every animal, kind of like an avatar um, the movie, but there, I just want to fly, man. I just want to, I'm an air sign, so I just want to, like, am I? Scorpio, you're a water, you're a water sign. You're water, man. Come on. Who are you? Wait, wait, Sagittarius. I think it might be an air sign. Yeah, sa saggy is air, is air and Scorpio is water. So technically, I still am part air sign, and something about being really high up in the sky is so appealing, and I would love that. Another question. Sweet. So uh, one of the Nicks, your turn for a question. Nick, you want to go? I don't. I've, yes. I need to think better. Celo, when will you grow out a mustache? as glorious as the fake ones that we're wearing right now. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Do you remember when I used to, like, twirl this one that I had? <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, that, I really that, did have that, a mustache. <clears throat> that was looking pretty promising. Really good <laughs> back then. I think uh, probably after I'm, I, I'm 40, it will... It'll, it'll fill out and thicken to mm. where I can actually like curl it properly. Nice. Thanks for the question. Um, other Nick. My question is. I must ask you a question. Yeah. What is my question? Is what I'm question. <laughs> <laughs> I must ask all of you a question. And that question would be, would you care to give a concise version of your most ex 
a most amazing dream since 2015 has started. Mm. You took my question, Nick. Thank you for telepathy in <laughs> my brain. You said, what is my question, and I gave it right to you. That's shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's a good one. That is a good one. Now I have to think of an answer. <laughs> well, here I'll I'll do mine then while you guys think. Do I'll it. question myself. So it was actually a nightmare that happened this morning, mm. and basically what it was is the the girl from the ring. Well, well, first there there was a, a sliding glass door. And there was a little girl in front of the door saying, uh, they're coming or she's coming, one, one of those. And there was a doorbell on the sliding glass door and it kept ringing. So like a non-physical, invisible being was ringing it and the girl was warning. And the girl, the little girl from the ring, that scary thing that came out of the TV, she just like phased through the ground and this whole time, I just have the most intense fear that I, I've ever experienced. Um, and it was it wasn't a lucid dream. It wasn't a vivid dream. It was a little literal experience. And I guess I had a, a an object in my hand, <clears throat> and I made the conscious choice to throw the object at the girl from the ring. And as soon as I did that, I was like, "Well, that was the worst decision I could have ever made." Um, and then basically the the girl from the ring got very aggravated and I instantly knew that she was going to follow me forever until she could basically destroy my body <laughs> and then I, then I ran and I was running and then there was a spot where she, a clone phased through the ground where I was running <laughs> and I, as soon as I jumped over that I woke up right when I was over it and I still felt that whole dream as I woke up and the significance of that was was to really be fully aware in the experience of every single action that I'm doing after that dream because I don't want to feel anything close to that in any way ever again. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds pretty pretty intense. <laughs> yes. Good. Goodness. Man, Nick Malnicki with with such a thick head of hair. It's so beautiful. <laughs> why why thank you. It's it's actually a wig. I'm actually bald in real life, in case anyone didn't know. Yeah. Uh, for me, dream wise um, I can't really remember anything specific. Uh, I'm mad to have wrote in, um, in my journal, but right now I can't really think of anything. I, I do remember just having dreams. I've had a bunch of dreams where it's been um, just a bunch of a bunch of us, like at a like at a large gathering or, or something. And um, my dream last night, I remember Skywalker was in it, and I was trying to find my car, and apparently like he took it, and I was like, why? <laughs> And uh, and I don't even know. Nothing really happened after that, but it was. I can still feel it. I still have that feeling, but I just can't like remember the imagery or the words or whatever. I'm still trying to think of a dream. I have been having a lot of crazy short ones, but ones I can't necessarily remember too much in detail. Um, I or maybe even like a physical <laughs> the dream is too hard. Um, what is the most intense, like crazy or physical experience or dream? Or what was the actual question? I'm sorry. Uh, basically, like an experience that provided a, a lot of significance for you to really, you know, like for me, making sure that I'm going to be fully aware in the experience of, of an action that I do so I don't... Um, reap bad con uh, bad consequences. Um, well, when you said an experience, something that jumped to my brain was um, the other day, Silman and I were on our way to a like, competition or a meeting of sorts, and I was just kind of like in my head, just talking full speed, I figure, <laughs> and 
Um, we we were talking about how, in general, since we've met, everything's kind of went 360, and how we've been really putting a lot of time into creation and things. And then, like, all of a sudden, the car just did a full 360. <laughs> and we didn't see the ice or anything. It was just, like, just for a second, too. And, like, though it was happening, I, I didn't feel scared. And normally, I, I probably would have. And I feel like a lot of female go-to reaction is, oh, my gosh, cry and freak out. But instead, <laughs> I just started, like, busting out laughing. And I was just, like, sitting there in the car. And he's just like, oh, okay, we got this. We're going back. Everything's cool. And I'm just, like, hysterically laughing for, like, five minutes because, like, in my head I just thought, man, we've done such a 360, and then in physical reality we did a 360. It was kind of terrifying, but apparently hysterical. So that's just something that, like, stuck out. I feel like something like that similar happened in one of my dreams, but I can't remember it because the actual thing happened and it was intense. <laughs> it was exciting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just busted out laughing for like five minutes. <laughs> wow. Nick Price. Nick B. Nick B. Nick B. Mm -hmm. I, I can't really think of anything recently really that crazy. Um, I mean, that dream, I'd say, I said earlier, was pretty exciting because of that direct message that that woman gave me. I think that was yeah. probably November or so, but yeah. <laughs> so, like, since then, you just had a, a, a pretty determined path to what you, you know, wanted to put your action towards? I mean, it was more like I was I was given such like clear instruction on something to do, and and what was so unique about it is that it came out of context from everything that was going on, which made it that much more significant, you know? Yeah. But I haven't really studied a lot of like Kabbalah since then. I I've been a little inspired to look into it, and I I know it <laughs> it absolutely is something that is gonna you know become important important at some point. So. Right. Yeah. I really do love your mustache, Nick. <laughs> I think it's it's vintage and it is so unique that is it is actually on eBay for thirteen billion dollars. I love it. Helps help fund the uh, Project Bring Me Life project. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it went away. Someone bought it. Who bought it? <laughs> 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 